experience at such a young age. Oh, thank you, A.L. Thank you very much. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, in our next bout, we're going to load mat one only, presented by the 2015 World Wrestling Championships. It'll take place in Las Vegas, Nevada, September 7th through the 12th. We invite you to join us. Introducing first, from the Nittany Lion Wrestling Club, the best of two, 97 kilos from State College, PA, Olympic gold medalist Jake Varner. His opponent from Woodbine, Maryland, a Tight Mercury Wrestling Club, an Ohio RTC member, this is Kyle Snyder. Snyder did in match number one, and he's going to come right back out and try to take it in two. Maturity, poise, call it whatever you want. Kyle Snyder is clearly ready. He's a match away from a spot on the world team. I call it beast mode. Beast mode. Okay, call it what you want there, baby. That's what I want. That's okay. why I call it. All right, it. fine, fine. Beast mode it is. So 20 seconds in here. What adjustments is, is Jake Varner going to make here? Is he going to be a little more assertive? Is he going to be a little more wide open? As we see, ankle pick attempt there from Kyle Snyder. And he's able to go so quick from the head, dropping down there and getting to the leg. And that's how he was able to uh, get to a lot of good holds in the first match. Absolutely. 40 seconds down, no score. Snyder and Varner. And, you know, these second matches can definitely be interesting and fun because, like you said, what kind of adjustments have been made and what kind of adjustments will they be able to implement here in the second bout? And look at that, the referee called passive blue. First one gonna go against Kyle Snyder. And I believe the first one yes. went against Snyder earlier in match number one, and he scored a takedown, if I'm not mistaken. It, it absolutely did, and I believe Varner did get the, that was the one point he, he got, or I could be, it was only like 30 minutes ago, I already might have It was, it I was. Varner, Varner uh, I believe, earned, he earned the, the. That was his only point he, he earned, he earned at that first point. point, and then Snyder countered later with a push out. Right. So tied it at 1-1. One, one. So halfway through the first, we got no score here at 96 kilos. Snyder really blocking off with that right uh, right side collar. Now they're going to hit Varner for passivity. So he looked to throw that by. So here we go in the next 20 seconds. Somebody's going to go on the shot clock. 15. Who's it going to be? Snyder kind of standing his ground in the middle, which makes me think they're going to put it on Varner. And they got that finger there you fight go. He there. Pushed it. He's pointing at Varner. They're going to hit him in a couple seconds. There you go. You see the red hand extended from the referee. Passive call against Jake Varner. Two in a row. He's on the shot clock. Has 30 seconds to score. Or Kyle Snyder is going to get on the board here in the first. Snyder is so difficult to open up as Varner has learned these last two matches he's had with him. He's just so good. He stays so low, great in the hand fight, good head position. Um, if you get to his legs, the legs of Kyle Snyder, that's maybe an area of weakness he has if you can spot one. If you yeah. got to find one, it's there. But the issue is it's so dang yeah. hard to get to and, his legs. And luckily for him, exactly, his, his position is, is rock solid. No question about it. So Snyder strikes first with, with the push out, or excuse me, with the shot clock. Point. Nice slide by from Varner. And whoa! Oh! <laughs> walks the <laughs> tightrope! Yes, walks the tightrope. Good one, Christian. 13 <laughs> seconds to go. I don't know. <laughs> he like did the whole arms flailing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stayed on his feet, inbounds. I think his heel might have gone out, but as you alluded to earlier, Christian, the whole entire foot has to go out of bounds. And that'll do it. First period to a close. Kyle Snyder up 1-0 over Jake Varner. So out to the corner, we see Casey Cunningham and Kale Sanderson in the corner with Varner. And it looks like his ear might be cut yeah. open or something. Because of Vaseline on that ear. And we'll bring it back to the center. Three minutes on the clock. And 
Nice oh, ankle pick. Filthy. Snyder in low here. Varner over the top. He's got a chest wrap position. That's a lot of weight and size Jay, uh, that Kyle Snyder's dealing with on top of him. Snyder slowly trying to push yeah. that in. He wraps both of them up, and he's going to get four for that. That was feet to back. And for a second, I thought that uh, Varner was going to potentially be able to wrap him through. Not going to be the case, and they're going to throw Kale Sanders and nails the official's leg. Um, good accuracy there from the coach. Bounces off the official's leg. They're going to challenge. You got to challenge. You have you to. Gotta hope you got to hope you get That's a game changer. That, that essentially, from what we've seen thus far, that'll close the match out. I mean, five-point lead for Kyle Snyder. And now, here's the thing. It's six if they, they miss his challenge. And uh, this is a this but is you got to challenge it. Yeah. I, you you kind of forced his hand. But Snyder, Snyder with that nice low ankle and the, the poise and the patience there to slowly improve, slowly improve, giving himself that time for the finish. And uh, as we're taking a look at it. There it is. Snyder no low on the legs, wrapped them both up, and they want to challenge maybe that it's only two. I'm guessing is the only thing I can think. I'd like to look at it again. And to me, it looks like two, they, and that's the call. Wow. They only looked at it once. And, you know, they're watching the match. It's the only match going. So they probably saw it in real time. Then they get a look at it on the replay, and that's it. So 3-0 the score still. Uh, uh, for Kyle Snyder, three points, that's uh, that's a pretty substantial lead. But one thing you can't you you cannot um, forget, Jake Farner has had those buzzer beating <laughs> wins. He had one at the World Cup, he had one against Bergman at the US Open. So until the, the clock says zero, you can't out Jake can't count out Jake Varner. And here we see Kyle Snyder fires oh. off the shot, was in on the leg, but a nice hard chest wrap from Jake Varner. Varner's sprawling out here. It looks like he might be content to just try to defend it. He's going to get pushed out, but he was on a knee, so it should be no points. And that will exactly what will happen. They'll blow it dead, push him back in the center. 146 on the clock here. Match number two, Kyle Snyder leading by three. So 145 on the clock. Varner got to that chest strap, unable to really do anything from there. And we'll wonder if we'll see Snyder continue to shoot like that. Yep. <laughs> yes is the answer. Drops down, tries to change his level and run to a high single. They stop it, put it back. 90 seconds to go in this one. And, and yeah, when's the last time we had a teenager on a world team? I'm not sure. I could not tell you. It's been a while. We'll have to do some digging to work for that answer because I can't remember the last time and we saw style. someone so young. Yeah, for sure. Because I remember 20... 2008 Olympics, um, Deichler from Minnesota, right. I believe, was 18 years old. He took out, then referred to as Harry Lester, now it's Justin, um, at, at the well, Olympic trials in Las Vegas. And we're under a minute now, 49 seconds to go. Kyle Snyder up 3 nothing over Jake Varner and just looking phenomenal, looking incredible. Varner really just has no offense that he can... Um, Hasn't been able to get to that ankle pick. He got, he had the angle. He almost passed completely behind on that slide by. He just could not. Um, there he keep goes. In. There's another shot from Varner, but kind of a duck to a shot. He got to the leg, but just getting to it's not nearly enough. Twenty now. Now Varner, you got to throw the kitchen sink at him. You got 15 seconds to go. Let's see what Varner's got for him. Snyder, staying composed there, staying low. Good position there. Ten seconds. There. Circles his way to the center, five to go, and ladies and gentlemen, that will do it. 19-year-old Kyle Snyder has earned his spot on the senior world team at light heavyweight. Unbelievable job, unbelievable poise. He's passed every test, and uh, what else can you say other than uh, congrats and a phenomenal job by Kyle Snyder.